Hello and welcome to this Kasambi tutorial. In this session, we'll cover configuration of Kasambi enabled switches. What won't be covered in this tutorial is smart switching, which is how a normal main switch can be utilized to provide simple lighting control. All Kasambi enabled switches that are paired to your network will appear in the switches section of the More tab. To configure a switch, Tap on it and the configuration options will open. If you have many switches in your installation, there is a quick way to easily identify which one is which. In the switches screen, you see a magnifying glass in the top right of the screen. Tap on the magnifying glass and you will be then asked to push a button or use a rotary control within 10 seconds. Push the switch you wish to program and the editing options for that switch will automatically open. You can then configure and rename that specific switch as desired. If you don't see the magnifying glass icon, please make sure you have Bluetooth connection to the network. When you have selected the switch you want to configure, you'll see some configuration options. This list of options will be different depending on the capabilities of the switch. For example, there may be possibilities to only configure a single button or multiple buttons. In this tutorial, we'll focus on push button configuration, but the same process applies when configuring a rotary control or an express switch. To configure the push button, first select the not in use text under push buttons. The display will then change to show only not in use option. Tap on this text to open the list of available configuration options for that push button. The options listed will depend on the profile your Kazambi-enabled switch has. Some devices have more options than others. The most common options you might see include the possibility to configure the switch to control a luminaire, a group of luminaires, or a scene. Control all luminaires, adjust the color temperature of a luminaire, and even more. Under each option in the app, you'll see additional text that describes the functionality. Unavailable options are either not listed at all or are displayed in light gray text. Select one option from the list. Depending on what you select, you will then have to configure some additional items, such as select the luminaire, the group, or the scene to be controlled. I will now configure the push button to control a scene. When all settings have been configured, tap on Done. There are also a few other things you can configure. It's possible to select if you want to use the toggle function. If enabled, one push of a switch will activate the selected function. In our example, it will activate the scene. And second push will deactivate it. Disabling the use toggle function means that pushing a switch will only activate the selected function. This might be needed if the controlled light should never turn off when using the switch. As with all devices that are paired to your Kazambi network, it is possible to rename and change the icon that is displayed in the app. Scroll to the bottom of the screen to see the different options. When all configuration has been completed, tap on the back on top of the screen to save and return to the main switches view. Now you can use your switch to control your lights. Further information can be found from our support website and in our app user guide. You can also sign up for our free online training courses on our website. Thanks for watching.